Hello, YouTube. So I want to take a few moments and talk to you about mental obstacles and depression with dentures. This is something no one, I haven't found one video on YouTube about this. And it's a real, it's real, it's real. With, with dentures, you're going to question, did I make the right decision? Was going full extractions the right thing? There's going to be mental obstacles to overcome, even when you're learning to eat. Like, I'll, I'll share an experience with you. And what I mean by a mental obstacle is the other day, um, I decided for the first time, uh, the first time I tried to eat a banana, it felt like I was trying to bite into a brick. And uh, the other day, I was able to eat a donut, uh, dipped it in my coffee, put it in my mouth, part of the donut was the bread, right? But I was still able to bite down on it and break it down to where I could swallow it. And that's, that's a key. Understand, when people eat without teeth, you're not chewing up the food, because in my case, my gums don't touch, right? So all I can do is break down the food with my gums and my tongue to manageable pieces that I can swallow. And uh, I, uh, what's common with diabetes, and I've noticed actually with these videos, uh, I'll share with you, and this is just a self-diagnosis, this wasn't by a doctor. If you notice, my, my, half of my, my cheek droops, and it doesn't on this side, this side it does. And what I think that is, is uh, Bell's palsy and what little research I did on it. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's nerve damage that happened to my, one of my nerves in my face to control my uh, muscle, right? And I've noticed I've had this for years. Typically it, it, it's onset and then it'll, it'll go away. And I remember at one point I did have a little bit of pro trouble swallowing and through that experience, I now have a, a anxiety over eating things with my gums. So when I was trying to eat a banana the other day, I could only break the dip banana down to so, uh, because I can only chew on, on this side of my mouth. I can't chew with the front and I can't chew anything on this side, right? So I can only break down the banana to a, a, a certain size and then try and swallow it. And I remember swallowing a big chunk of banana and my anxiety kicked in and said, oh, what if you choke on that? Luckily, somebody was home. Most of the time I'm retired um, now and I'm home alone. I'm a stay at home uh, dad, I guess you would call me. My wife works, she's gone most of the day. My son's at preschool. Um, that's mainly because we want him to have that educational advantage uh, when he starts uh, kinder kindergarten, if I can say that um, correctly. So, and, um, so yeah, you're gonna overcome these mental obstacles because you can't, chew food like you used to. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about, oh look, I can eat a chip or I can eat a nut. But in reality, what they're doing is they're just breaking that into pieces so they can swallow it. It's, you're not chewing it like your natural teeth. Don't let anybody fool you. Oh, I can eat a chip. And you'll notice that they eat one chip at a time. When I had my natural teeth, I used to take half a bag and in my hand and shove it in my face and chew it up and swallow it, right? They're eating one chip. You'll notice if, if somebody eats french fries with dentures, they eat one french fries at a front try at a time. It's not, oh, grab a handful, shove it in my mouth and, and eat it. You can't eat like you used to with your natural teeth with dentures. And that's 
a mental obstacle that you have to overcome because you can't eat like you used to. Like, I'm craving a, a cheeseburger or a Subway sandwich, but I can't bite into that sandwich because I don't have my teeth and I haven't trained myself to eat with my dentures as of yet, right? And even with that, I have to take way smaller bites. It'll take longer for me to eat. Uh, as it is, it takes me forever just to eat a soup, you know. Uh, smoothie, I can just drink down. That's usually no problem because that's sure that's basically pureed uh, whatever I put in there. I like to put oatmeal in my, my smoothies. So that's one other thing, one other mental abs obstacle that you're going to have to overcome once you get dentures is the fact that you're going to be drinking your food for at least the first two weeks. And the easiest thing that I found is post-extraction, go out and buy a, a blender. I used a little bullet blender to try and puree my food and I almost burnt the thing down out and it didn't work very well. Go buy a, a large, a regular blender. It doesn't have to be a smoothie blender or anything like that. I got a regular blender for, I think like $16, $17. And that works perfectly for what I need to eat, you know, or how I choose to eat. And basically you have to puree all your food. So rather than getting canned soups or, uh, I, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Rather than getting canned soups or anything like that, which have a lot of salt, which can affect your blood pressure, uh, or if you're a diabetic, in my case, uh, could affect your blood sugars, okay? Consider cooking at home, right? Boil up some carrots, boil some kale, uh, whatever you like to eat, my, you know. Uh, I'm not a big kale person, but greens are great for you. They're very healthy, have a lot of calcium, which you're going to need to rebuild the bone basically uh, in your mouth because I've been craving things with calcium. I'm taking calcium supplements. But I'm getting a little bit off topic with what I wanted to talk to you about today. And let me start with, if you're having severe depression, don't be afraid to talk to somebody. Go and talk to your dentist if you have to. Get a hold of the psychologist. Call a suicide helpline. Talk to somebody and interact with people. Don't feel like you're isolated. Like the first week, I'll be honest with you, I just sat on the, uh, in the recliner and I watched YouTube videos about people with dentures and to see how my process of healing is going to be. And... Uh, how long it's going to take, and when can I eat food, when can I switch to soft foods. My dentist said it would be at least you know, three months before I'd get off liquids. So that to me was shocking. You know, Fortunately, I'm 12 days out, I'm in, I can eat some soft foods. But keep in mind, you know, if you don't want to cook, you want to, you know, you can make smoothies, you can um, buy a chunky soup that you like and puree it in a blender and you can drink it. Uh, I pureed chili one night because I, I was just having a craving for uh, chili. And uh, I pureed the chili and I ate probably about half of it before it actually started, the chili started. Uh, causing my extraction sites to hurt from the capsaicin in, in the chili. And uh, so, you know, talk to somebody. Get out of the house. Uh, I was very lucky this first week that I had to take my son to preschool because I could interact with people there. Even though they stared at me and they kind of looked at me funny like, you know, something's different about him, I'm talking weird, you know, uh, still that interaction helped me. I didn't tell them I'm toothless, I didn't tell them what I did, but this, that human contact really helped me. 
and watching other YouTubers gave me a little bit of inspiration that there's there's an end to this process. It's probably going to be a lifetime process with dentures. Okay, I have to think of it that way in order to keep myself focused. Right. So I know there's it's going to get better as time goes, and that's the thing I need to focus on. Like I say, you know, you're going to deal with the anxiety, seeing yourself for the first time, worrying about your spouse or your significant other what people outside are going to think about you or, or look at you and go, you know, um, is, are they a drug addict? Or, you know, did he lose all his teeth because he's a drug addict? Or, you know, and these are things that you have to deal with. And you're going to go to work, you know, with, with your dentures and are they going to hurt you? Uh, you know, those are all adjustments and waiting through the healing process and so forth. And, but, like I say, if you're suffering from, if it, I, I wanna get to the people that are pre-extraction. If you have depression, you have anxiety, um, you really need to talk to your healthcare provider, okay? Find somebody to talk to. If you have insurance, try and find maybe a psychi uh, psychologist, excuse me, to talk to, to help you through the initial stages if you really have severe anxiety or depression. Because this will heighten that, okay? I never had a, a depression until that week. The, I've never had depression in my life. And any depression I was able to overcome quickly. This took me a week to really maybe over a week to be honest with you. And I had to talk to my wife about it. I had to express how I feel about the dentures. And I think this is helping me in a way by just posting up these videos. And I made the decision before, oh, if nobody views my videos, I'm just going to cancel the channel, delete all my videos. And I've changed my mind because somebody may stumble upon these videos that have, is having the same experience as me and needs that outlet, needs somebody to tell them the truth, you know, because I didn't feel... Honestly, you're watching YouTubers that are already years into their dentures. There, uh, there might be one or two videos of, of when they, uh, you know, right up after their E day, but they don't really talk about anything. They don't talk about the experience uh, uh, afterwards. You know, they don't talk about the depression, the anxiety that you have, seeing yourself for the first time, um, what you're going to eat. You know how long you're going to eat liquids, um, how life-changing this is. And it is life-changing. So please keep that in mind. You're going to have depression. You know, I did. You know, and I don't think I'm unique. I'm not a unicorn, okay? Uh, it's just the people that do suffer from it post-extraction and don't say anything about it, they're doing a disservice to everybody who is seeking help from them because they're not telling you the reality of dentures, okay? And they might sugarcoat it because, oh, they have a few cuss words in their video and they cut them out and they edit up the video uh, because they got a few nasty comments about their language, okay? Um, but that's not the reality of dentures. Dentures are painful, okay? You're going to go through the painful process of the extractions, the painful process of wearing your dentures until you get them adjusted, your gums heal, your ridges, your bone underneath your gums heals, which is called your ridges, your bone recesses. This is a year, so... 
a lot of times the dentist has to break that bone to get the tooth out. And that's something nobody talks about as well. And it takes up to six months for that bone to heal. Okay? So this is not a fast process. This is not, oh, I'm going to go get my extractions and I'm going to be out the next day eating steak and playing tennis and enjoying my life. No. The first three days you're going to be in bed. You're going to be in pain. You know, tooth pain, jaw pain is probably the worst pain I've ever experienced. I've never broken a bone or anything, so I don't, I don't have really anything to compare it to, okay? But this was the most painful experience I've gone through. And to have to take pain medication every four hours... Getting an extraction before was child's play compared to getting all your teeth removed, okay? Uh, trust me, this will be an experience for you. And that's what I want to put out there. And some people may disagree with me. Some people may have a wonderful experience or that's the experience that they want to sell on YouTube, okay? That was not my reality, and all I can do is give you my reality and my opinion, and that's all my videos are, okay? I'm not trying to sell a product. I'm not trying to convince you to get dentures. In reality, I'm trying to convince you to keep your natural teeth. Go through the process of getting your teeth clean, flossing, keeping your oral hygiene up, talking to your dentist, seeing what don't just take because 20 years ago that dentist told me to rip all my teeth out of my mouth that they'll fail within five years and she was wrong she was wrong I am so grateful that someone gave me another opinion and that's all I needed in order for me to say hey wait a step back and go hey wait a minute but had one dentist told me, floss your teeth, use a tartar control toothpaste, use Sensodyne, um, get these less than a dollar toothpicks. These are floss. These are a quarter of a penny each. Okay. This would have saved my teeth. Had a dentist told me, go out, get one of these, pick your teeth, clean your gums, floss your teeth. This would have saved me so much pain, suffering over the years. Infections, um, root canals, but not one dentist told me so I'm not a dentist, and I'm telling you, floss your teeth. I'm harping on my son and my wife to floss their teeth. You may think I'm crazy, okay? And that's your opinion. And if you don't want to do it, well, you might end up with uh, dentures eventually as well. Or you might have healthy teeth, or think you have healthy teeth, okay? And, oh, I've never had a cavity in my life. But that's not the reality for a majority of people. Okay. So don't think your experience uh, trumps everybody else's. I'm, if you're that person who has perfect teeth, never had a, had a cavity in your entire life, uh, you got good breath and all that, you're not the person I'm talking to, okay? Or maybe you are the person I'm talking to because I think you should floss your teeth regardless, okay? I'm trying to talk to the people that are looking at getting dentures, okay? Uh, step back. 
look at other options first. That's all I'm saying. Look at other options. Are there other options available? That's all I'm saying. You know, you, if you have dental insurance, a lot of times it pays some of the costs, healing, so forth, right? Go that route. Don't go, you know, if you're, especially if you're in your 20s, just because you want to look sexy for somebody, think about it. At some point, you're going to have to take your dentures out because you can't wear them 24-7, okay? That's going to cause thrush. That's going to cause bone deterioration. There's a whole slew of dental problems that are going to come with you wearing your dentures 24-7, like your natural teeth. They're not made to be worn that way, okay? It's like you have a false leg and you wear your false leg 24 hours a day. At some point, or your prosthetic, excuse me, uh, is going to cause your problems with your leg, your arm. Same thing with your mouth, okay? You're not washing that bacteria out of your mouth. You're not giving your gums time to rest. You're not giving your bones time to rest, okay? And that's also a mental obstacle that you have to overcome, that you're going to have to take your teeth out in front of your partner, your significant other, your spouse, your family. You know, I've already showed my dentures to my son. He just stared at me. He didn't know what to say, you know. But I'm trying to get him to understand that if you don't take care of your teeth because he doesn't want to brush his teeth, uh, that he's going to end up with all, you know, dentures at some point in his life. He's two. I, I'm just trying to instill in him not fear. I want him to know the reality of if you don't take care of your teeth. Okay. So, so these are all mental obstacles that you really have to overcome. Honestly. If you're being honest with yourself, there's mental obstacles that you need to overcome. There's the depression that will set in. Um, maybe you won't exper experience that. That's awesome. But I've never been, been depressed a day in my life. Uh, and I had depression that I had to work myself out of. And, um, you know, having somebody there to talk to was great and let me say if you're having suicidal thoughts or suicidal ideation because of what you did you feel like your life's over reach out and talk to somebody comment here I'll respond to you uh, you know call a suicide helpline Go to your dentist, uh, go to your dentist, go to somebody and talk to somebody, talk to a family member. This is not the end of the world. This is not the end of your life. It's the beginning of a new journey, okay? And there are going to be obstacles to overcome, mental, even physical with, with learning how to eat, learning how to talk, okay? So I hope you keep those in mind, and I hope if you're having any issues, you reach out and talk to somebody, okay? It's not the end of the world, believe me, and then don't take anything negative that I say about dentures as the truth, because it's my truth, it's not your truth, okay? It's my opinion, it's, it may not be your opinion, okay? And you're allowed to form your own opinion, don't, don't take my opinion as gospel, okay? And, you know, it, so with that, I'm going, this video is getting a little bit long and I want to get this uploaded and go get lunch. I've noticed with some of the videos I posted today that the, I'm either having problems with the audio or the video and phone updates and my, I got a new, I have a, Blade X1 and it's horrible really to try and uh, record videos because any type of uh, update for some reason it doesn't ding on my end but it'll show in the video some ding and it's it's going over my audio so 
I may switch over to uh, my laptop and I have a microphone with that and I won't have these video problems. Uh, I don't want to re-record all these videos unless, you know, the audio, if, if somebody comments the audio, they can't hear me, they can't understand me. Uh, drop a comment and I'll go ahead and re-record the video on my laptop. Uh, I'm just trying to get some content out there for my channel. Uh, I've gotten a lot of views with my, uh, my introduction, my Denture Adventure introduction. And uh, so there's a interest out there and there's probably people that are headed down this way and I want to get that reality uh, out to them to let them know uh, what to expect because I didn't get that from any of the YouTube uh, channels that I watched. I wasn't, as I, I would even say, mentally prepared. Uh, post extractions okay I went into a positive because I saw these videos and people eating and oh I can eat chips I can eat tacos I can do all these things but the thing that never hit me was these they've had their dentures for years they're not new denture wearers like myself so I want to take you through this journey with me uh, and I hope you'll enjoy some of my videos uh, I'm not going to eat on camera like some people. Uh, I don't feel comfortable. Not that I don't feel comfortable doing that. I don't think it's helpful. Okay, I'd rather explain to you how I do it rather than eating a burrito in front of you. You know, uh, that doesn't show you anything. You know, it doesn't teach you anything until you're here. Me showing you, oh, this is how I eat a burrito, or how I eat a taco, or how I eat toast, doesn't teach you anything. It doesn't show you really anything, because you can't see the inside of my mouth. And that's no knock on, on any of the YouTubers that do it. You know, if you get a lot of views from doing it, then continue on, please, okay? That's just something I've decided that I don't want to do. I want to focus more on um, the denture side of it, okay? The experience behind it. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there to talk about eating and so forth. And my next video is probably going to be about what you're going to eat for after post extractions. And I can share with you my experiences up to now and we'll go from there, okay? So, uh, as always, I hope everybody's happy, you're healthy, I appreciate you for watching my videos, and I hope that someone is gaining something from this. Nobody's commented as of yet. I just put up uh, quite a bit of content on my channel today. Uh, I, do, I decided today was going to be video day. So, um, drop me a comment. If you like any of my videos, hit me uh, up with a like. Uh, if you're interested in subscribing, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you. Uh, you'd be the first to see my videos. And um, I'd really love some feedback, but uh, I haven't gotten that yet because I did one video, basically. So I'm hoping... With this content, I'll start getting a little bit of comments, a little bit of feedback, and maybe what you want to see. You know, um, I'm just going off of uh, some ideas that I came up with. Shoot me off some ideas of what you think I should uh, make a video about, and um, I'll do my best for you all. I don't, I don't have much to do. Like I said, I'm retired. Uh, I'm in the process of trying to get into a graduate program. So at some point, these videos may stop because of that, but I'll keep everybody informed as to what's going on with that, and I might try, you know, to keep up the videos even though I'm studying and doing other things. So take care, be healthy. As I always say when I sign off, if you have them, floss them. Take care, YouTube.